Ben is not a sweetheart, first I'd be really surprised, and then I'll start to cry, which will make him feel guilty. Hello, Nima. One of the wonderful things about saris is they're feminine. They're very sophisticated looking and hugely exotic. And I think all of those things are qualities that we need to pull out of you. How's it going back here, Nima? I think it's going well, okay. The top's too tight. Well, it certainly gives you a perspective of how much more we have to go in order for you to be able to comfortably wear this, that's for sure. So tell me, are we looking at saris because you were planning on using a sari to renew your wedding vows? You know what a nice romantic thing to do would be for Code and I to get remarried. But we're gonna have a party for sure. You're not answering my question. I don't know. Are you planning on renewing you know your what? wedding vows? It's the of the renting of the room and stuff like that. So why initially was it important for you to have the goal of restating your marriage vows and now it's not important? Truly? Yes. I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. It was a bit of a lark, really. One of the obstacles Nima needs to overcome is the fact that she's flip-flopping on her goals. So tell me about some of your other goals. I would like to cut my hair, lose off at least 10 inches of it. I'd like to get a new set of glasses because I wear glasses Okay, so these are all very superficial contacted. things. I'm talking about things that are going to make Nima seem and feel more exciting, more energized. Getting your hair cut is no big deal. Buying new glasses is no big deal. People do that all the time. So I do not consider new glasses and a haircut a goal. A goal to work for me, the one thing it has to be is it has to be realistic. Do you have a fear of failure? But what, but what, I do not. It does not work for me to think of things too far in the future. You have excuses for everything that no, you don't listen do. To me. So this is clearly someone who wants to avoid having to do anything at all she's uncomfortable with or might require effort. But I think the key thing is, is that it's got to work for me. And if they you work You keep for saying that, but what happens is you end up with no goals. If everything's gonna work for Nima and we can't find out what those things are, you're just gonna be Nima, 50 pounds lighter and probably in a year from now, 50 pounds heavier again. I was feeling really good about my efforts up until today. And you know what? I don't anymore. If Nima uses this as, as an excuse to not meet her fitness and weight loss goals, that's, again, another big cop-out for her. So, my goal for the next couple of weeks will be to regain my pleasure in being who I am. Ultimately, if she walks away from this experience and really thinks about the things that we discussed and the conflict that came out of our discussion, she will realize that she's got more to grow as a result of this than to fail. What are you trying to present? Right now, now my casual wear, I like to try and look young. One of the keys to looking young mm -hmm. is that there is, you have to look current and Hip. If this is very typical of what how you look in your casual wear, is this, this is typical? one of my favorite outfits. You look like a suburban mom. <laughs> I like these pants. Like Kendra. it doesn't it make me look thinner, honestly, from no. the size. No, no, no. These are going in the garbage pile for sure. <laughs> Those are look like denim diapers to me. I have a big fear too if I because I Gain have weight lost, again. Yeah. If you create a wardrobe that is not, uh, I might be a fat girl again wardrobe, you're gonna have much better luck in achieving the goal that you wanna achieve. If you need added comfort and camouflage, you take a little number like this, put on another piece of clothing that camouflages all of the spots that you wanna hide, keeping your neckline open so that we can see some skin here, a really beautiful piece of silver jewelry here, a couple of really big silver hoop earrings, your hair piled up on the top of your head with a pair of high black boots, you look, hip and cool. The thing that is gonna do Kendra, I think, the most is that if she actually believes that the person on the inside is the person that she wants to express on the outside. My role in Melanie's weight loss journey is basically to help her figure out who the person is she wants to be at the end of this. Oh, for Christ's Hello, Christ Melanie. Sake. I know you had a goal of wanting to do bodybuilding. I brought with me oh, a bodybuilding outfit. Yeah. Do you want to put it on no, for me? No, not a chance. Sure you don't want to put it on not for me? Not a chance. <laughs> don't you think it may demonstrate for you how far you have to go in order to achieve your fitness goal? It ain't but happening. This to me is sophisticated, it's sexy, it's powerful. It's a look that says that you've accomplished something. I think my new look is great. You're beautiful. Do you feel beautiful? I do feel beautiful. There's a part of me that used to be this person, but I got lost. 
Could you imagine yourself like this six months ago? Six months ago, no. Until I saw a picture of myself recently, and I was like, oh my God, that was me. Who knew that soft and romantic would be <laughs> two <laughs> words to describe <laughs> Melanie? I'm evolving and I'm changing. I am a work in progress. I've shaved off a lot of layers in the last six months. I was very angry, very bitter, overwhelmed. There's still some rough edges and there's still some work to do, but I'm on my way to be the person that I'm supposed to be, and it is being happy, and it is being confident. I think this journey has shown you that you can have that in your life. Don't you worry. And don't go back to your mullet. Oh, God. I'm definitely up for hearing what Fred has to say. Um, you know, if I don't like what he has to say, then I'll let him know. But I mean, I think it should be fine, because I'm hot, so. <laughs> Why don't you pick out an outfit from what you have here that best communicates who Valencia is? I think it would be this bad boy, which is a reflection of Valencia. So it's so kind of sexy, it's kind of flirty. You would wear it with... Wait, these pants. So there's but, nothing mm -hmm. in here right now that we mm -hmm. would aspire to The whole into. thing is, for me, in the end, I want none of these to even be able to be able to go on Valenciana and she has to do a whole new wardrobe. You talk about yourself sometimes in the third person. Yeah. When people refer to themselves in the third person, mm -hmm. sometimes it is because they're aware that they're sort of projecting a persona that may be a little bit different from who they really feel that they are. If Fred feels that I'm not being, I don't know, if I'm, or if I'm being fake or whatever, that's his opinion, he's allowed to have it. There's a routine that you have maybe spent a lot of your years working on that you know. <laughs> Work it! There is something that's very likable about Valencia. She's a character. She is easy to interact with. I think Valencia does not want people to see her be vulnerable. So she does not let herself be vulnerable. So why don't we put this on with these? The boots and the dress? Yeah, trust me on that one. Okay. Yeah, so the boots themselves are sexy, and that dress looks good on you. Good. Thank you. You describe yourself as hot, mm -hmm. and do you feel hot with all the weight that you still have that you want to lose? I push past it, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, yes, I have the weight, but I can look good. I can look hot. It's a little bit of a contradiction <laughs> to this whole persona that you yeah. have of like a really strong, willed, confident, powerful woman who can do everything else she wants to, but she can't lose the weight. So you gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Of course. <laughs> Lamar and Javar, turn it down. It must be really challenging sometimes, Deal, being the single mom of two teenage boys. <laughs> Every day. Get off! Stop, Lamar, you stuck on the video game. Lamar, I need you guys to keep it down. Lamar? You're listening to you yell at us. I'm not yelling at you. Would you like me to start yelling? Okay. So please, can you just keep it down? Okay. Thank you. And so <laughs> does dealing with the challenges of being a mom ever interfere with the goal that you've set for yourself to lose weight? It interferes, but again, I feel like it's a challenge that can be done. No, Lamar, I'm done with you and your negative attitude and your little demeanor that you have going on, eh? As I was leaving, all hell broke loose. You need to shut your mouth and listen. Please. Shut your mouth and listen. And it was launched into a very aggressive physical fight between her two sons. Get over here, let me crush you too. It was drama. So they just had this full blown out fight. I had to go and like pull them apart. Are you trying to flip me? Are you trying to flip me? This is 219 of solidness, guys. So the very soft and lovely Valencia, the calm and cool Valencia no longer existed. Apologize now! Never. What? Never? She was very angry and not in control of the situation, and she's someone who likes to be in control of the situation. Don't mess with me. I will stop your career. When you're functioning in the world on a daily basis, in your mind, what does Tammy look like? I look great. 
<laughs> I do. I feel like I look great. It's deceiving though, because I, I have this false perception of how I look. And typically, what would you wear? At home, I wear more tracksuit, capri kind of stuff. When you get caught up in your regular everyday life and think, you know what, I don't look so bad after all, mm -hmm. self-accepting keeps you where you are instead of propelling you on a journey of weight loss. It's about making changes. It's not about accepting your life as it is right now. Great. When was the last time you put on a sexy dress? Can't remember. Okay, let's try on some clothes. Okay, come out, let me see ya. Not the best choice for you, because what we're seeing right here is lots of thickness around your knees. Mm -hmm. Also, the amount of fullness that you end up with in here actually makes you look too full here. The first dress was a little frightening to see on, but I wouldn't wear that dress skinny. This is getting better. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a little snugger than I would like right here. Absolutely. But in 10 pounds from now, this dress will fit you the way it is Okay. actually supposed to. How does it feel to start looking more like you than Tammy the mom or Tammy the sad girl? I love trying to establish myself again. I like this. When she was in an outfit that looked good on her, she was a completely different Tammy. We want to see this yeah. look like that. <laughs> yeah, well, smaller. Like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hold that there. You can I'll follow behind me and hold it in. Yeah. Squeeze your hips in for you all the time. Well, this is a sexier little number. Yeah. It's got a nice shimmer. This is a look that is starting to look more like Tammy. I can see myself in that dress. That is a style that would be very flattering for me. I agree. I love this dress. I love it. I think she started to relate to herself in a different way. And this is going to be very valuable for her on her weight loss journey. Tammy, you look absolutely amazing. Nice big smile, very nice. So tell me exactly how you feel, because this is not something that you would have done six months ago, I can guarantee. I feel like a totally different person. I sort of got lost in motherhood and I found myself again. It's not just about the weight loss, but also showing yourself that you matter mm -hmm. as much as your family does. Well, that's exactly what I learned, that it's okay for me to be myself still. I can still be a wife, I can still be a parent, but it's still okay to be me. I think the Tammy that we see now is quite different because what she's realized through her weight loss journey is she truly feels beautiful. Nicole is very typical of any young woman who feels that she needs to be physically perfect in order to be worthy of the things that she enjoys. How do you feel standing here right now in this? Disgusting. People who are confident don't mind showing a little bit of skin. When you walk into a dance class completely covered up, it's like waving your arms and saying to everybody, hi everybody, I have no self-confidence whatsoever. I cannot go into a dance class like this. I, will, I won't go. We need you dancing so that you can become thinner and feel better about who you are. Until I start losing the weight, there's no way that my confidence will be going up. Wowza! You could actually go out in that. Like, it's still a little bit uncomfortable for me, but it's definitely better than the first outfit. Well, I want you to be a little bit uncomfortable. By being aware of your body, it will keep you very focused on where you want your body to be. Is this motivating you to step it up? Definitely. Well, that's good. I've got one more thing. Why don't you just try Are this you, on definitely not. with these no. little panties? You're insane. <laughs> I am insane. <laughs> Nicole is rehearsing today for her Raptors audition, and I am here to see that she's mentally prepared for the audition. Hi, Fred. Hi, guys. I know you guys are here helping Nicole rehearse for her big audition. And how do you think she's doing? I think that she has um, a little further to go than... How many classes a week do you go to? Well, now at least one. Don't you think you have to do more than one class I a week? I absolutely agree with you. You've got a few weeks to be able to really tighten it up and you've got a lot of work to do. So we have a little exercise that we're going to do today. First of all, when you're doing an audition, this is the type of little rig that you're going to have to wear. Are you going to be able to put this on for me today? No. Dun, dun, dun. You look great. You look much smaller. I think you should be able to walk into a room in front of a panel confidently and do a routine. I don't think Nicole right now is capable of feeling comfortable, period. So as an exercise for that, what we are going to do is set up a couple of chairs. Oh my God. You are going to do a little audition for us. You leave the room. I'll sit in the middle. 
Nicole, do you have anything prepared for us today? Yes. Thank you, Nicole. I would have liked to see a little more energy. It looked like a high school amateur dance performance. You need to up your sex appeal. I just don't feel comfortable right now. If I don't feel comfortable dancing in this, I won't dance. It's obviously hard. <laughs> Nicole has been treating this goal in a very lackadaisical kind of way, and I think she needed to hear some very real and unpleasant truths about how hard she's been working. You need to believe right now that you are Nicole, who is going to get this audition because you are a Raptors cheerleader. I'm here today to meet Debbie to help her examine how her self-esteem is affecting her ability to achieve her weight loss goal. That's my wedding dress. I used to wear it. When you go to the temple, you wear white. So Four. temple being? Mormon temples. Okay. I go, Chris is not Mormon. Does that present any difficulty for you? I'd lie if I just said it didn't. Religion plays a very deep and meaningful role in Debbie's life, and the fact that her husband does not share that with her creates a big problem. We have a pile of clothing in front of us. All of the things that I've pulled out of your closet are very conservative. That was my first attempt at sewing. So this is a dress. I thought it was a nightie. Do you feel sexy when yeah. you wear this? Age inappropriate for you. We can do a heck of a lot better than this because I don't think conservatism equals having to dress like an old lady. This is absolutely unmotivating. It's not about clothes. I, I know you think that it is and it's not. What I think this does is it contributes to your feelings of being hopeless. Motivation doesn't come from what I'm wearing yeah. at all. It comes from what I feel. Do you feel joy on a regular basis? Once you've had depression, it's easy to fall back into that. Yeah. So, so did you have post, uh, depression associated with postpartum? Mm -hmm. Have you productively dealt with those issues? There was a lot of issues at the time that contributed to it. There was the talk of not having any more babies. There was Chris's vasectomy. Wanting to have a larger family and then your husband having a vasectomy, that in itself must have been very disappointing for you. Maybe it's quite possible that that is where your biggest lack of motivation I is. I can't reverse a vasectomy. That doesn't change. The way you deal with it emotionally can change. Meeting Fred was painful. It wasn't pain that he provided. It was pain that was already there. What you're feeling right now is grief. Your husband having a vasectomy is paralleled to you feeling like you've lost a child. You need to move on in your life. And that involves an emotional journey, not just a physical and a weight loss journey. She really does need to move beyond the grief that she's feeling as a result of not being able to have a child. And if those things continue to stay in your life and continue to allow you to feel unmotivated, you're not going to have the success in life that you want to have. I think you're ready to become a supermodel. This very specifically says, look at me. I love this look. It's fun, it's playful, it's still sexy. I feel very me. Your husband's outside. Okay, Chris, come on in. Look at your beautiful wife. Wow. <laughs> look at you. Do you Great like it? I love it. Doesn't Watch she out. look amazing? Debbie looked absolutely phenomenal. I feel liberated. She's like, I am fierce. Take my picture. <laughs> I think you've got a hot body. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I've never heard that before. No, you do. Everything about you, from my perspective, says this is a woman who has everything on the ball. There's not much I like about myself. My stomach is probably the thing I hate the most. I don't like my butt, my legs, my arms, I don't know, pretty much anything you can imagine. None of this is inappropriate for your body. You've got me stumped. I thought I would be coming into this role to make you feel better on the outside so you could then feel better on the inside. And what you need to realize is that other people will always have things that you won't. And you will probably never be a size zero. But you can be a really great looking size eight. Where Naomi needs to build her self-esteem the most is through working on the inside because the exterior package is already great. The challenge for Naomi is getting over the fact that she's very comfortable with her low self-esteem. Her low self-esteem has been with her for so long that it's almost become like a friend to her. We have to 
work at figuring out all the positives that already exist here and stop focusing on some of the negatives because the negatives will be easy for you to overcome. So what is the biggest thing that has changed for you in this process? I don't know if a lot has changed. So does that feel disappointing for you? I was hoping that I would feel a lot happier about myself. So what is, what is it you think that is keeping you from being happy? Negative self-talk all the time, telling myself I'm not worth it and I don't look good and I'm not achieving enough and I'm not working hard enough. And Does getting negative attention mean more to no. you than getting no attention? No, I don't think. Because it seems like that's the case. If you're feeling that you're not getting positive attention, that getting negative attention is better than possibly no attention. And so if you don't have people telling you how thin and gorgeous you are by beating them to the punch by just right off the bat telling them how you feel about do, yourself. And that's what I do on first dates. <laughs> and you wonder why I'm single. And you wonder why you're single. <laughs> when you go out on a date, why don't you talk about the amount of traveling that you've done? Why don't you talk about your career in social work? Why do you have to introduce every conversation you have with everyone you meet with weight issues? I don't think I'm Even, that bad. But <laughs> you're, okay, maybe you're not that bad, but if you keep going on this path, yeah. people are gonna say, do you know what? Naomi really is not that fun to be around because we just want to go out and have drinks and a good time. And, and if all of your friends have to listen to you talk about how fat you are all the time, they must look at you coming and turn around and run. I don't think it is Sula's looks that make her attractive to people. It's Sula's attitude. And if there's one thing that you should be emulating from your sister, you should try to aspire to the qualities that she has that make her special. And there's nothing special about being thin, but there is something very special about about being a positive person. So you need to train yourself to ditch the negative self-talk, and I think that's gonna be the most important thing for you. When I first met Naomi, I was surprised that she was an individual who wasn't comfortable with her appearance. And then within 30 minutes of communicating with Naomi, I saw that insecure person growing and growing and growing. If you're not putting out an energy to the people around you, including men, that you're confident, self-assured, and loaded with self-esteem, they're naturally gonna to go to the women in the group that are. I'm really anxious to see how she looks and hear how she feels. So, how do you feel wearing fitted jeans and tailored coats? Everything in small steps with me. Yeah. I'm trying to work on that kind of stuff, and I'm hoping through feeling better when I go out and knowing that I look good will help portray that confidence when I'm out with friends. I think you look absolutely gorgeous, and I hope through this you actually feel gorgeous on the inside as well as on the outside, and stop comparing yourself to all the skinny chicks.